So now I'm going to go back. What? <laughs> Almost. <sighs> What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nima, for those of you guys that are new. Today's video has been long awaited. I know, you guys, I know, it's been a minute. Okay, today I'm gonna be reviewing the new Fenty Matchsticks, the extended shades that they came out. I think they came out with two extended shades at the end of the spectrum. I'm not sure if they threw some in the middle. I'm, I genuinely don't know. I don't think they did. I think when I saw the release, it was mainly those two that were like promoted the most on their Instagram. So today we're gonna be reviewing that or not really reviewing it because I've already been playing with it. I'm gonna be demoing that for you guys today. We're gonna be doing that along with the cream bronzers and cream blushes. And I was actually happy that I waited a little bit, gave it a little bit of time because these kind of launched around the same time, like within the same week or either like within two weeks of each other so it made sense to kind of now it makes sense to have them be in the same video and use them all together so we're gonna be doing the cream blush and cream bronzer that just launched as well if you have not done so already make sure you are subscribed to the Nima Tang channel not Nima not Nima Nima, thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and do pretty much everything on camera that pertains to the base because most of these products are complexion-based products. I'm gonna start by priming. I'm gonna use the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. No, no, no. I just got my nails done and I can't decide if it gives me cow vibes or dominoes. I'm trying to get my nails to grow back out. I used to have them like super long when I was in Texas, the nail salon in Plano. That was amazing. All they did was natural nails. They didn't do any acrylics. They just focused on the health of natural nails. And I was able to get my nails so long, you guys. I have never seen my nails grow like that ever in my life, especially since I'm a nail biter. YSL Blur Primer. That's the one I just put on right now on top of the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Next, I'm going in with the Pure Love Your Selfie Foundation. One of my favorite foundations that launched last year. Just one of my favorite foundations for the shade match, for the formulation, just for the finish. I love it. Actually, I think I wanna color correct today. Let's color correct with some found. What the hell? Oh my God. Oh, some moisturizers do this with this mix. I hate it. When I decided that I wanted to grow my nails out, I really just wanted my nails to get really long. I was really inspired by Desi Perkins. She has like, she had her nails really long at that time. Or I still don't know, I don't know if she has them long still. But I was like, I really want my natural nails to like grow and be long. And so that is where that inspiration came from. So that kind of kept me motivated the first like maybe month or two, maybe. The following month I started having like, my anxiety started like coming back and I couldn't curb it as much as I wanted to. I fought it for as long as I could. <laughs> What I would do, since I had already had some growth on them, is it's weird, but it really helped me, and it's honestly um, helped me to kind of like keep away from biting my nails. Is I would just like almost, <sighs> don't go drag me. almost like nibble on them. Not really nibble, but like like I just be like. So I wouldn't really bite to break. Having that almost soothingness that it gives me, especially knowing that I wanted to grow my nails out, just doing that was enough to kind of calm me when I would have my anxiety, but I wouldn't ever like bite down and break them. And ever since then, I kind of just like phased it out slowly. Look at this, look at that. Part of the reason why I'm talking about my nails today. Honestly, I think it just kind of phased it out slowly. It just took a lot of, and being intentional about it, being intentional about not biting and knowing that like I'm do, I want to stop biting for a reason, for a purpose. I used to try the spicy, like putting like spice on your hands and stuff like that. That didn't work for me. So, so that's that on that. And the reason I'm bringing that up is cause I've got two visitors today. So I started taking a new liquid biotin. I've got a friend on the side of my nose here right there, then I've got a friend here. <laughs> so that's why I am talking about my nails because I'm trying to grow them back out and see if the liquid biotin would do anything. And I've only been taking it for about like two or three weeks now, so I'm not sure like if I see any crazy results yet. So that's the pure. I wanted to use this foundation. It's one of the foundations that's more on the deeper side. So it really does kind of match my face a little bit better than other foundations that match my chest. So now I'm going to bit what? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and just run my beauty blender through all that foundation. I'm gonna start around my mouth first because I still have some of that color corrector shade on there. I hate when I don't color correct around my mouth because you can really see the difference, especially when I start laying concealers on there. I'm just like, oh my God, I hate the way that it looks. Shout out to Liv Tinted for a hue stick for the dark skin girlies. This is a new shade. It was supposed to be limited edition. I think they're bringing it back like as like a normal part of the inventory. So if you guys haven't tried it yet, definitely, yeah. 
I, you guys have seen me use this thing so many different times, so. If you guys haven't tried it yet, definitely check it out. They have a bunch of different shades also. So now we're gonna go in with concealer. This is a Jouer Central High Coverage Concealer Pen. I've actually been using this one as well. So I'll use this as the color correcting shade today. I have to take it around my eye sockets because I also have a little bit of darkness like right in here. If I don't color correct underneath my foundation around my mouth, then I would put this around my mouth area as well. But I did that already with the glue stick. For me, underneath my eyes, I just like the way the concealer looks a little bit better than going in with the hue stick underneath, just for my under eyes. So now I'm gonna go into the Estee Lauder Double Wear Radiant Concealer. I have it here in two shades. I have 8N and 7C. So I'm gonna use 8N as like my highlight shade. I am obsessed with this concealer. I haven't been able to put this concealer down since I got it. I think I'm almost out. Oh, let me find out. I'm about to be mad. This is the hydrating concealer. Estee has the one that's supposed to be similar to their foundation. That one's a little bit more matte. I just don't like it. I like the hydrating one a little bit better for my skin type. These are the two new matchsticks that came out. There's Caviar and Ebony. I think Ebony is the second to last one, which is this shade right there. That's Ebony, which I honestly think I can use that as like a color correcting shade underneath my eyes. Caviar is this one. When I first saw this, I was like, shit. This is so amazing. So I'm really excited to show that to you guys today. Like I said, I've already been playing with it. So this is more like a demo. I really wanted you guys to just see how it would look on my skin tone and see how it applies and see how I would use it particularly. The bronzers, these are called Cheeks Out Bronzer and there's chocolate. Let me open them. <laughs> I'm just showing you guys outside. I've already played with these a little bit too. Chocolate, which is this one, which I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna use to bronze. It's almost like the same color as my concealer shade. And then there's this one, which is called Toffee Tease. I have tried this one before I didn't necessarily like the way that it looked I don't I just felt like it kind of just put red around my perimeter of my face so I'll go ahead and show you guys that right now see like that really doesn't I'm also not like really seeing the bronzing effect it's kind of like the powder bronzer that came out the same effect that I told you guys about with the powder bronzer I'm gonna use caviar which is this shade and that's what I'm gonna use to it's a very subtle contour on me, but it is a contour and we will take it, okay? There's not many products on the market at all whatsoever, so we are gonna give Fenty their things for this and they definitely deserve it. I really am excited to keep playing with it and keep using it. So this is Fenty 498 and then this is the Pure Love Your Selfie right here. So they definitely, definitely took into consideration 498, which I am very happy about because I don't feel like that was the case for the bronzers that launched. Luke. When they first came out with the contour sticks, I do know that it wasn't really like up to par for me particularly, but I definitely do think that they fixed it. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out. Like I said, it is gonna be a very subtle contour. I don't mind the subtle contour. I'm more of, I am more into those like subtle finishes and the subtle looks. I'm not very like into the overly sculpted situation. So I'm okay with this. The only thing I might do, now that you guys have seen that demonstrated, always on my forehead that I feel like it could be better on my cheeks, it just does some things and I'm happy about it, but on my forehead, I wanna see if I can add this on top of it. This is the new Tom Ford Shade Illuminating Soft Radiance Foundation. That's that shade right there. That's the Tom Ford um, foundation, which I was like, what the actual hell is that? I was so excited, you guys. So excited that I paid $150 for this foundation, y'all. I was like, what the hell, I can't, I can't. So I'm just gonna use that to kind of map out my forehead a little bit better. I don't know if you guys want the stats on the match six. I feel like since they've been out for so long, it's kind of like everyone knows it's just a shade extension. So I didn't really go too statistic-y on there, but I will give you guys a few little things about it. It is $25. It now comes in 22 shades. It has a matte finish. I think that's really all you need to know. Oh, I need to blend out this concealer. Making sure that's all blended right there. Ooh, look at that, you guys. Look at that action right there. We love to see it. This concealer blends out so nice. You guys know what concealer I'm excited to try next? The Pat McGrath concealers. That's the next video that I'm filming. I'm really excited to try that. I've been trying so hard not to watch any reviews on it so I don't get tainted. When I get all the products that all the girls have access to, it's over, it's period. 
you know? I'm about to snatch, chisel, snap, crackle, and pop this face. So just to cover up a little bit of my dip right there, just a little bit of that. NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Dark 3. This should just help me brighten. I can't believe I used to use this as like my highlight shade. Ooh, child. We've come a long way. I'm gonna go ahead and start setting everything. I'm gonna go in with the Pure Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Just sets so beautifully. It's like almost like airbrushed, like flawless. It just sets everything so smoothly. And there's no flashback. <laughs> look at that forehead. You're not gonna tell me that forehead doesn't look airbrushed. I didn't take that contour around my nose because it just would have been too harsh. And I don't normally like my like to contour my nose anyways. So that wasn't gonna happen. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna set everywhere that I put that. Set that with this, you guys. When I said, wait until I get a cream contour and it's over, I meant it. And it's here. It's over. I have to be chiseled full of gods. Not really, but like very soft, very soft snatch. So now we're gonna go into the Ben Nye Ebony Powder. That's this powder. It's almost like a really good powder to set all over my face. I'm gonna pinch my beauty blender like that. Get rid of some of the excess and then I'm gonna start like this. So I can really like help carve out that cheek and then I'm gonna go right into just pressing it into my skin. See how that gave me like a really soft reverse highlight situation? That's what I want. And then I'm just running that the rest of that powder all over the rest of my face. Do the same thing on this side. Not setting anywhere else. So now that's all of my face set. That's what it looks like. You guys look how like sculpted yet it's soft and diffused my face looks. Like I said, I really don't mind that it's a very subtle uh, contour on me. I really like it. I'm really glad Fenty revisited the matchsticks because that was one of the things that for me was lacking the most in the launch. So yeah, all we gotta do is work on these um, browsers. But that's it. <laughs> So I did my brows off camera and I did my eyes off camera. I just did a little really soft makeup look with my eyes, something a little glitty, a little halo eye. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go into the cream blushes. So I'm gonna pick one that I'm gonna use strawberry dip, or is that drip? Strawberry drip. Summertime wine is pretty. Bikini martini, Russian on Cupid is that rose petal glow daiquiri drip either this one it's just to kind of match the tones or this one which is the crush on cupid something really makes me want to go into this one so that's the one we're going to go into i'm going to go in with my sponge yeah. that's exactly the blush i wanted the color i wanted my sponge is not wet at all. This is the same sponge that I was using earlier and I do think that with cream blushes, it's better to use the sponge like in that drying phase, like after you've done, pretty much when you get to this step and you your sponge is still kind of damp, not even damp, it's almost dry. I like the way that it applies the cream blush a lot better, like look at that. that did I already tell you guys this shade? This shade is Rose Latte. It is going to be my new favorite cream blush. Cause I swear, cream blush on dark skin is so hard to find cause I feel like everything is usually very, very pink or um, orange, which is fine. Like the cool, whatever, but. <laughs> Sounds so ungrateful. <laughs> yes, it's, a, it's, off, it's cool, but like this kind of color um, in cream blush that actually shows up on dark skin is very hard to come by, so I'm going to treasure this. I'm gonna go into this from Pat McGrath. This is the Highlight Trio in Bronze Nectar. This one is the one I usually use. That's the one that looks like it's most loved, so I'm gonna use that shade. The way that sits right on top of that blush, I love the way that is sitting on top of that cream blush. With that cream, I'm just gonna tone it down a tad with my Dior Forever and Ever Shine Control Powder. So that's really pretty. I really like the way that that came out. So for lipstick, I'm gonna go into an oldie but a goodie. This is the Milani Teddy Bear. I've been wearing this shade for like years. I wanna turn down some of that pink. There we go. This is the Flesh. I don't think it has a shade name. That's strange. I'll try and find the shade name, but it's a really nice brown color. 
gloss to top it all off I'm gonna go into into the Milani 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 keep it full lip plumper lip plumper in bare pink Alrighty guys, so that is pretty much it for our video today. That is pretty much everything that launched from Fenty recently, besides the mascara. Guys, I wasn't a fan of mascara. That's why I didn't want to put it in the studio. I just wasn't a fan of it. I have tried it before. It just wasn't my favorite. I'm really, really hooked on the Pat McGrath mascara right now, and I think that's the only one I've been able to use. So besides that, quick review on the Matchsticks, the extension. I am really, really happy that they went and revisited the extension of the Matchsticks. Makes me really happy to finally have product like this on the market. A couple of companies have something like um, Koi Vaca. Koi Vaca does have a contour stick. I think it's a contour stick. But the only thing that I wasn't like the biggest fan about that was it was just a little bit hard to blend for me personally. And then the other, um, I think that's the only other company that I've seen something specifically named and designed for that purpose go this deep. So yeah, like I said, I'm really happy they revisited it. I'm glad I'm able to be here to demonstrate it for you guys. I love the blush that I used today. Like I said, I am gonna be cherishing this cream blush. I just think it blended so beautifully. And then like the highlighter, just look at the way it sits on top of it. That cream blush is definitely dark skin approved. I know it's hard sometimes to kind of eyeball certain products online. It's better to kind of, especially products that you're a little cautious about. And I was a little cautious about this one, but um, just so you guys know now, I do think it's appropriate. And I do think it's a beautiful, subtle blush for deeper skin tones. You can definitely make it work. You can definitely get a really nice, simple glow out of it. Thing is the bronzer. I probably won't be picking up the bronzer anytime soon soon the cream bronzer the only thing I did like about it is like I could probably use it as a blush again um, because it did give me that really nice red if you are lighter than me then you're probably gonna like chocolate overall like even blending out these products you guys saw how well they blended out I recommend the cream bronzer but not for the purpose of bronzing I recommend the cream for me at least <laughs> I recommend the cream blushes they are nice and easy to blend and then I set it with that powder so I still have some of my the glow that it gave me as a cream blush but it's not like as intense and it doesn't look like it doesn't fit my face I think that's pretty much it I really hope you guys have enjoyed it shout out to Fenty again for once again delivering for the girls thank you guys so much for watching I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure you are subscribed to the Nima Tang family. The subscribe button is gonna be right here. Hit the notification bell and I will see you guys on the next upload. Also, really quickly, so Corona's been doing the most Okay, that's to say the least. I feel like there's a lot of hysteria right now. A lot of people are very nervous. A lot of people are getting a lot, very, very anxious. Part of the reason why I wanted to film this video and put it up, number one, not only to show you guys the products, but also to break up your timeline a little bit. It can be very intense. I have had to check myself a few times and be like, hey, you're you're freaking out. You need to take a step back and like log off social media, give my mind a break. And I just wanna remind you guys that if you are going through something like that, where you're just like not processing it well, not handling it well, just take a step back you know log off regroup and then come back whenever you're ready so I really hope you guys are staying safe protecting your energy protecting your mind and um, washing your hands number one thing to prevent this is washing your hands and keeping your hands out of your mouth and face as if we weren't just talking about biting nails at the beginning of this video <laughs> don't do that but yes <sighs> We're gonna get through this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, lots of love, and I will see you guys next time.